One of the first things they teach you in physical therapy school is that you have to measure and document everything, otherwise it didn't happen. So I'm a big numbers guy. Everyone at Dubuque Physical Therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. In this video, we're gonna talk about a quick two minute step up test that you can do right at home with a little bit of balance if you need it, but it's gonna give us a good idea of where you're at in terms of lower extremity strength, balance, as well as your cardio condition. And what we'll do is we'll compare to people your age. So you're going to know compared to, for example, another 75-year-old, are you above average, or are you below average, or are you right where you kind of need to be for your age? All right, let's get started. All right, guys, get ready to work hard on this next one. This is a two-minute aerobic endurance test. This is going to test to see what kind of muscular strength and endurance you have, what kind of cardiovascular shape that you are in. The idea is for two minutes, you're going to count how many steps you can do, each one ideally coming up to about the level of your hip or about 90 degrees. If you can't bring it up that high for pain or tightness, that's okay. But the idea is how many steps you can do in two minutes, counting each one. Notice I've got a little bit of balance there if you need it. The danger zone is less than 65 steps for both men and women. After you figure out your score, let's take a look at the actual scoring. So this is for women first, and across the top you'll see the age range, 60 to 64, 65, 69, etc., all the way up to 90 to 94. And for an example of a lady that I have in the clinic, and she does really well. She's very active, and prior to COVID she was traveling around the world. And she's 82, and I put her through the test, and she scored 95 on the step test. So if you look at the scale, that would put her well above the normal for her age group. So she's doing really well, and for her, we're just going to encourage her to keep exercising and stay as active as she can. Next, we'll take a look at the scoring for men. And same thing, if you look across the top, that's the age range, and you find out what age range you're in, and then you can look at the score down below. And the example I'm going to give you, I have a 60-year-old client that, and he'll admit is very definitely out of shape and he's had a cardiac issue in the past uh, but he was safe enough to where we did the test in the clinic and he scored 67 on the step test and it was difficult for him and that would put him below the normal for his age group so he knows he's got a lot of work to do and remember the danger zone is 65 so he's really been getting at it and I got to retest him again but I'm sure he's going to be better because he's walking a lot further than he was when he first came in. So use the score as an indicator to kind of give you an idea of where you're at. Well how'd you do? By now you should have an idea, compare it to the scores of other people your exact age and use that information to determine whether or not you need to work a little bit harder or you're doing pretty well or you're way above average. At the end of this video I've put some links to additional videos that might help you in terms of if you do need to improve on lower extremity strength and or endurance. All right, if you have any questions on this senior fitness testing please leave it down below. Good luck if you found the video helpful. Please consider giving it a thumbs up subscribing, and ding, turn on notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. All right, take care.